Final Fantasy. Why is that visible? Final Fantasy Online. With your boy. Yes, I do. I got a, I got a new name. I might give him. Well, maybe later down the line, something like that. I'm gonna brighten this down. I'm gonna take the highest to it. Okay, let's get this thing straight. I think everything is good to go. Working order, all that stuff. <laughs> Turn that down. It'll be distracting me the entire time I'm playing. <laughs> you know, it'll be my Nintendo music, or I'm using in general. But anyway, Yazado, Final Fantasy, here we are. Let's get it on. Last we left off, we couldn't find Alpha No. In that deserty hellscape. So now we're back here. Hopefully, waiting to get some freaking answers. <clears throat> I don't know why I did that. Anyway, Shadows in the Empire. He and his requested for the Scions. <sighs> Excuse me. I had hoped to seal a moment's rest after our root, a little root, a uh, little outing. I don't know why I thought it was routine, but it would seem duty calls. A foreign emissary arrived in my absence. Oh. Do not let us keep you then. Actually, I was wondering if you might join me. I cannot think of a guest who could fail to be impressed by the presence of the Scions. At least. Now I should be happy to receive. That's what I'm about to say. If it's a Garlean. Of course. If you think it will be useful. Thank you. Let's return to my mana then. The hell is that? Oh. Interesting name. Can I use my bounty? I can. Biscuits. I can't fly though. Yeah, it makes no sense. I think Ninja is literally faster than base mount, I want to say. I want to say Ninja is faster than base mount. Don't quote me on that, but I do definitely want to say it's just faster than base mount. Oh, don't be so down in the dumps, Ellie. We'll find him. If we don't, we'll kill every Garlean until we do. Who the fuck? Amy! Lise! What brings you here? Oh, Alliance business. We have a request for Doma. Well, he Ian. But that can wait. They told me you were out searching for Alphino. Did you manage to pick up his trail? No. Well, somewhat. Eh. Not really, though, if you think about it. We just know where he was. Which I guess is a yes. Uh. Well, if he wasn't at the crash site, he might still have escaped. We have to keep searching. And we will. Alphino embarked on this journey as an emissary of Dorma. Uh, statically audio. Self-responsible for his safe return. I will have our shinobi in the provinces search for him as a matter of urgency. Chin up, Alize. You'll get to admonish your brother for his recklessness yet. You're such a caring sister. Look at that face. Someone has to do it. I think she's smiling. I like that. Good old Ali. Good old Ali Ali. Ali Wally. There is one thing I'm not sure about, though. Oh. What is that, Lise? It was the Emperor's personal guard that attacked Alphino's airship. Mm, yeah, it is concerning. But the Popularis would never have been able to arrange the prisoner exchange without Varus's blessing. So why would he sabotage his own mission? 
They may not have been acting on Varus's orders. The guard answer not only to him, but to his family. The crown prince included. Mm. When your Tsuyu summoned Tsukuyomi, Asahi was quick to proclaim that a dormant citizen had violated the terms of our agreement, that the negotiations had failed. And That's not good. That is now being repeated across Garlemald. To hear the tale, one would think the prisoner exchange never took place. Plainly, someone is manipulating matters from the shadows. Most likely Xenos, or whoever it is that wears his face. Indeed. Whichever Asian you mean, we all know the nature of our adversary. We killed Lahab. No, it's not Lahabri. We killed Lahabri, if I remember correctly. The servants of Chaos are true to their name. Their meddling has cost Dorma a chance at peace. Whoever it was that loosed his personal guard, the Emperor cannot be ignorant of these developments. We must proceed on the assumption that our treaty is indeed in tatters. It's always been that way. They're not going to stop. They'll never stop until we bend the knee. We're underneath their boots and heel. Or they heal it, whatever, you know what I meant. But come, Lys, you have journeyed far. Let me hear your petition. Give us some good news, please. Please, Lys. So the big news is that Alamigo has agreed to join the Aeorzean Alliance. Uh, that's definitely some good news. That's more members. To make it official and discuss where we all go from here, the leaders of the five nations are planning to hold a meeting. And we were hoping you might come too. Hmm. We've already seen what we can achieve when we work together. And the Alliance hopes to work even more closely in future. They think it's our best hope of keeping the Garleans in check. And I agree. As do I. By coordinating our efforts in the East and West, we may be able to discourage them from committing their forces to a single front. I accept your invitation. It is true, diverge. Must, however, diverge and conquer? Or something like that? I don't know. In what it's called. Recent events, the risk of Imperial reprisals is greater than ever. And I would not leave Dorma unguarded. Ere I depart, I must shore up her defenses. Indeed. Understood. You must, have a, you must have a strong nation before we'll you can depart. From you before setting a date. The meeting's to be held at the Royal Palace in Alamigo, incidentally. Do you remember the way? Do the other people still support us? The uh, guys with the horns? Well enough. Please assure my hosts that I will not keep them waiting any longer than I have to. We had to do that tournament for them or whatever. And thank you for agreeing to come. If we all put our heads together, we're sure to find the best way forward. For everyone. Yeah, what were they called? Uh, the Asm? Asm Seeps? The, the, I forget. I forget. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? Hmm. I forget what they're called. But you know what I, you know the people I'm talking about. My advisors and I will present can will have presently convened to discuss the matters of Domus defenses. You're welcome to stay, of course. Had you not offered, I would have requested Lee to remain. Where the Asians are concerned, not may be left to chance. As ever, we will benefit from your experience. I thank you for coming, Lise, even if it was on official business. I had hoped there might be time to show you the land you helped to save, but I will set up for a fleeting visit. It needs must. There never does seem to be enough time for anything, does there? But I did get to see a little of the Enclave. You made excellent progress, I must say. And soon you'll have the chance to see how we're getting on, too. Till the, meet till the meeting, then. Uh, Yasaru, I was wondering if I might have a word with you before I go, in private. Oh? Go on, my friend. I will send for Hakuro and the others in the meantime. Hmm. Great. I'll wait for you at the docks. Private conversations. Hmm. These go one of two ways. And usually it always ends with me high and dry. And ready to cry. <laughs> Balance, kids. If you fall, you die. I mean that literally. Da, na, na. 
Why is she standing like that? I'm not complaining, but uh, curious what the conversation about to be now. Thank you for coming. Knowing you, you probably guessed what I wanted to talk about. Alize. Yep. Alize. She's acting as if everything's all right, but it's clear, clear she's barely coping. Well, of course, her brother's damn. Her brother's missing behind enemy lines. The Alize I know is overbearing, willful, and reckless, and that's fine. It's how she deals with feeling weak. She has to keep moving, but she's afraid she'll fall apart. Damn. A lot like me. Pardon the bug. <laughs> but the thing about people like us is that we need someone to keep an eye on us. I have Papayamo and now I have my friends in the resistance. And Alize has you in the Scions. She also had Alpha Note, but... Before you start, I'm not saying you're neglecting her. I'm not. I'm sure you aren't. And I'm sure you won't. But she's a good friend. And well, I see her like this. I can't help worrying. So please, make sure you give her all the support she needs, alright? Leave it to me. That's my little sis too now. If Alfie's my bro, she's my little sis. Thank you, Yuzaru. It goes without saying, but if there's anything I can do, you only need to ask. No. <laughs> well, I'd best be off. See you in Alamigo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why the hell did I go to this one? It's the closest one, I guess. Ooh. Ah, oh, anyway, hi. Oh, he's inspecting you. May I show you in? My voice changes each and every time you talk to me. Do you not remember what I sound like? No. Ah, there you are, my friend. Everyone has assembled, so let us begin. If we are to ready ourselves for invasion, we shall need manpower, provisions, and time, all of which are in notably short supply. Candid as ever, Yugi. <laughs> Correct, I concede. Fortunately, I have an idea. Tis plain no single nation can stand against the might of the Empire. And it was only with the aid of others that Dorma succeeded in winning her freedom. So, I mean to take a leaf out of our Eorzean friend's book and form an alliance of our own. In addition to those with whom we already share an understanding, I would reach out to Hingashi and Suinosato, and further afield to the myriad peoples of Nangsha and Dalmasca. I am under no illusion. Not all will answer the call. Yet disparate though we may be, we are united in our desire for freedom. If our neighbors could be made to see what is at stake, Asian machinations and all, cooperation need not be so far-fetched a notion. Well, why don't you mention the Empire? It should bring people up in arms. Under the guidance of our former leader, Master Louis Soi, we once strove to unite the fractious city-states of Eorzea. I dare say that experience shall be of use in your endeavor. We should be glad of your wisdom. <laughs> For the record, I would have been in favor of this plan even if it hadn't been my grandfather's. But I have to ask, how will we secure the time to carry it out? Mm. Not it's true. Forgotten, but the Garleans have airships. Lots and lots of airships. Should they catch wind of our plan, they could send an armada to overwhelm us before our alliance had even begun to take shape. Not if we deny them access to the skies. How? During our time in the burn, the Warrior of Light and I chanced upon some Alagan ruins. Oh? 
As such ruins go, they were not particularly unusual. But something about the surrounding land struck me as odd. Faint though it was, its ethereal residue was uncannily similar to that of Azizla. Identical, in fact. For locations so far removed to share a single etheric signature is all but impossible. I conclude, therefore, that the Allegans created the floating continent with land taken from the burn. Hmm. While that is a most intriguing theory, I fail to see what relevance it has to Dorma's defense. <laughs> Why is she looking at her like this? Azizla La was enclosed in a powerful energy barrier, impenetrable even to an Agrius class battleship. It occurred to me that those ruins may have enjoyed similar protection. I have no proof, but the Warrior of Light did report seeing a structure hmm. resembling other known Allegan field generators. Is that what that was? I thought it was just like a... I thought it was like a ship, actually. All right. But even if we could put up such an energy barrier, it surely wouldn't extend beyond the limits of the burn. So what's to stop the Garleans flying around it? Fuel. The Dalmascan capital, Rabanasta, was a key imperial refueling point in the east. By laying waste to it as a lesson to the rest, the empire greatly hindered its own operations in the region. If an imperial fleet were to advance upon Dorma, it would now have little choice but to travel as the crow flies over the burn. Hmm. I see. A word of caution. Even assuming the generator still functions, raising a barrier of such a scale will require a prodigious amount of energy. And few places are so bereft of suitable crystals as the burn. Hmm. A source of energy. I hate to say it, but maybe the use of crystals? Tell me. Did the Allegans make a habit of launching things into the sky? Curious question. Besides Azizla, La, I know of only one other notable instance. The Red Moon Dalamud, whose fall triggered the calamity. Mm. Just the two occasions, you say? Then I believe I may have a solution to our energy problem. You do? <laughs> I may. To find out for sure, we would need to visit the Azim Step. Step, not steep. Sorry. Which would I now see present the perfect opportunity to discuss an Zayla. Zayla. <laughs> How very neat. What say you then? Shall we see whether this road leads? <laughs> a power and slumber. Keen is eager to set out for the Asm Steep. It is settled then. I will journey to the Asm Steep with the Scions. Yiguri and Hakuro, I leave our other neighbors to you. My apologies, but I won't be joining you. I am no aetherologist, and what skills I do possess are unlikely to be of any great use to the mission. But more importantly, it seems to me that the ruins in the burn warrant attention. And so, while you are away securing an energy source, I will engage our friends at Garland Ironworks to undertake a complete overhaul of the field generators. We need them in good working order if the plan is to succeed. I trust there are no objections? Have care. Have care on the stick on the steep. From what I hear, the jailer like fighting with friends almost as much as foes. Good luck. I guess you're still be going with her then too. Just the three of us then. Very well. Shall we make for shall we make first for reunion? What the fuck is reunion? What the fuck is reunion? Oh. 
That's reunion? That did not pop up on my map at all. Okay, it's here. Where the heck is reunion? Oh, I'm stupid. I was in the wrong thing. I have so many quests I gotta do. I haven't had time to play. So this is the Asm Step. The tales do not do it justice. You think the view is impressive here? Wait until we reach higher ground. Actually, seeing as it's your first visit, permit me to show you my favorite spot. Ah, up there. Oh, cutscene. Yeah, okay, that works too. I will never tire of this vista. The endless fields, the boundless skies. Tis a sight to make a man forget his cares. <laughs> Indeed. You're still low. Not his purpose, I trust. <laughs> Might this be a fitting moment to tell us what we are doing here? Of course. During my time with the mole, I learned some few myths of this land. One goes thus. In the distant past, when all seemed doomed, a wayfaring soul came unto the steppe. Venturing into the northern crag, he received of Nama a sliver of her essence, a shard of the shining moon, and with it clove the tainted land from the earth. The end thus averted, to these fields did the wayfaring soul return, and venturing once more into the northern crag, he buried the shard, and made unto the heavens an offering of blood. Hmm. A tainted land cloven from the earth and an offering of blood to the heavens. As is La and Dalamud. That was my thinking, yes. And you believe that yonder mountains hide an artifact possessed of sufficient power to raise As is La up to the heavens. I suppose that might suffice. We gotta make sure, we gotta hope it does. Worth a close. Words. I would. <laughs> From here, we shall travel to Mo Lo. Elo. Uh -oh. There we may ask Serena about the particulars of the myth and raise the matters of an alliance with the rulers of the steep. Aren't they the rulers of the steep? Did we make sure of that? That's what I'm assuming that's what he means. Ah, this crappy thing. Fuck that. Get off this thing. Yes. Whatever this mount is. I gotta figure out what the hell this thing is. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-
A shard of the shining moon left behind by a wayfaring soul? And you need this to protect our lands? I do. My friends and I wish to find the shard and ascertain the extent of its power. Will you tell me more of the place where it lies buried? This northern crag. Crag? Like Titan? If that is your wish. In the mountains to the north, there is a cavern called the House of the Crooked Coin. Inside this cavern are pillars of stone that legend holds to be the source of Nama's power. There, I believe, you will find what you seek. Ah, yes. I know the place. It is a brisk walk from here. And what are your thoughts on an alliance? Should the Empire return, our lands will be engulfed in a storm of conflict, whether we will it or no. If we do not stand together, we will fall apart. This I believe with all my heart. However... You don't want to fight no more? However... Hmm. Among the tribes of the Steppe, there are those who revere Nama above all else. To them, the pillars are sacred, and not to be disturbed. Should you proceed as you propose, such tribes are like to spurn an alliance, prompting others to follow their example. That is my concern. Hmm. Hmm, it's religious, I guess. But it is by no means certain that the pillars will provide the power you seek, ere you risk the ire of the followers of Nama. Might you not first visit the house of the crooked coin? If all is as you hope, we may then consider how best to earn their blessing. I thank you for your counsel. We will do as you suggest. I have no desire to give offense to those with whom I would join hands. Thank you for your understanding. Though the mole may reign over the steep today, this decision will sh uh, shape the days to come, and we would not force others into war against their will. Nor are we. A hundredfold stronger are they who choose to fight of their own accord. True. Not conscripted soldiers. Pardon me. You're a noob. What is this? <clears throat> the will of the moon. Your stole is ready to put her skills to use. I'm very close to you right now, you stole. I apologize for that. It seems the time. It seems the time is come to put my skills to use. Hey, there we go. Pray, lead the way to the house of the crooked coin. Oh, that's what that thing was. I was like, what are you talking about? I passed by a fate. Oh. Hey, back. How the heck do you get up here? Not for real. How the heck do you get up here? Because you can't, unless you fly. There's a steps. Oh, no, there it is. There's a way. Okay, I'm about to say, like, how do you get up here without flying? Oh, excuse me. Whoa. Whoa. What is uh, this sacred artifact? Such an abundance of ether. Are we in luck? Ah, balls. We are. This is an elegant artifact. Most likely built to regulate the flow of ether. Hmm. I strongly suspect the ancients used it to stem the flow from here to the burn. That would explain how they were able to untether what became as is la from its surroundings. <laughs> but were we to throw open the floodgates, the resultant deluge would surely be sufficient to raise our wall. And in restoring the flow, we may also restore life to the wasteland. Hmm. Two birds, if we care about that. What is it? While the device itself harbors a surfeit of ether, 
The opposite is true of the surrounding area. Mm hmm. An effect of regulation, perhaps. A similar phenomenon seemed to be occurring in Doma. Whatever the explanation, the answer will not reveal itself here. We have seen what we needed to see. Let us return to Mol Illo. Illo, Illo, Mol Illo. This place has such common music too. Sup, we back. There. You found that what you seek, then? Great indeed is the Dust Mother's power. If not less, will suffice to protect our lands. The blessing of the other tribes must now be sought. Of course, but to which tribe should we appeal? The, the strongest one, for one. There are many who worship none, I'm sorry. <laughs> but none are so further than the faith as the Dothal. Their consent shall be the key. Mm-hmm. The Dothal. Lee spoke of them. A warlike tribe possessed of unique customs and beliefs. A sense of cooperation will not be easily won. Nay, but it will be well worth the effort. The Dothal the, 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 the feel nothing, death least of all, and our alliance will be greatly strengthened by their presence. Let us go to Dothal Ka and treat with their cartoon, Sadu. this gonna become because it's just like a barren wasteland like what is it okay you're just a random person or well, random players should say not person Oh, they killed that thing. I was like, what the heck's going on over here? Hello, Sadu. You again? Other matters demand our time, Kagan. Unless it is battle you seek. Alas, not. Quite the opposite, in fact. At least not right now. Hmm, battle later, but cooperation right now, please. Talking, always talking. You say the pillars hold great power? Of course they do. They are the source of Nama's strength. To the Dothal, no place is more sacred, and we will make ash of any who would defile it. Though I see this is not your wish. You see the wisdom of my proposition, then? You will join hands with us. I said nothing of joining hands. You wish to wield Nama's power to defend these lands, and this I will allow. But for leaving the steep to fight the men in iron, I would have something in return. Namely, namely, battle with you, Kagan. The oh, hell. Then the dom ended, ended ere it began. I would face you again, alone, without distractions. Okay. Defeat me. Prove yourself the stronger, and you shall have the Dothal as your allies. Surely these are agreeable terms. Well, this is a not wholly unexpected turn of events. Though I had assumed I would be the be the one required to fight, alas, the cartoon, yeah, the cartoon has made her choice. I mean, I'd rather not, but 
So you say, with a fire in your eyes to another tale. You want this as much as I do. Hmm. Ah, already my soul burns brighter. Prepare yourself, Kagan, and await me outside the car. I will gather my witnesses and join you anon. This is gonna be interesting. She's a black mage, right? Or she fights like one at least. Oh well, here we go. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, there's no logic here. Hey, is it the warrior of light? Gotta be the warrior of light. No matter what. Hey, thanks for the follow, body stalker. That's a, that's a name. Wake up, have fun. I am having fun. Oh, it's Han. Truly necessary. Having a peaceable way of making decisions. Speak not of peace. You stand before proud warriors of the Dothal. In the heat of battle, do our souls burn brightest? Mm. We lay low the strong that we may rise higher. Could be a thumbnail right here. That is our way, the way of might. <laughs> there is no other. Oh, they do not want for conviction. <laughs> It's what makes them such dangerous enemies and such useful allies. Indeed. Enough talk! It is time to fight! Um, um, um. Uh, thanks for the follow. Thanks for the follow so much. Why? That was easy. Hell no. Oh, come on. Here we go again. You gotta be like one of those. You gotta either be a sadist or a masochist because this isn't crazy. In crazy, this is insane. I mean, wait, how many times did she get up? Oh, so I gotta beat her that many times. I see. Oh, no, he got hit.
Did I be telling you that, Sadu? Oh shit. Alright, Sods. Time to put an end to this. There we go. Good fight. We're done here. You're joking, right? You're not joking. She's not joking. Tin? She has got to be kidding me. Okay. for this darn mic. Like, y'all hear it. I know y'all hear it, right? Like, I can't be the only one this is going to. Here we go. Hold on a second. What the world is going on here with the audio? To set the step ablaze. Weird. Like, are my headphones doing that? Or? Well, the sun has come out to play. Be gone, Moonstruck or near. I am busy. Fool of a Dothar. Have you forgotten the face of your master already? The sun will never set. From his seat on high, he reigns over all, now and forever. I forgot how cool this guy is. We're gonna fight this guy next. What should he find here but a battle to determine the fate of the step? A battle waged without his blessing. This will not stand. You, Doman! You who come to petition the warriors of this land, forget that all Nama's children are wards of the Oranir. As first among my brothers, your petition is mine alone to judge. Hmm. <sighs> These words are as wind from a horse's backside. Plentiful, but your act sings more sweetly. Let her speak for you. Forgive me, Brother Magni, but we have an arrangement with the Dothar. We will not abide any interruptions. Mm, get down now, right there. So be it. The sun will pass judgment on all. Dynacool, join me. Good 
company. We may dance alone. Hmm. Beg not for mercy, for you will have none. Bear witness to the power and the glory of Azim. Who's stepping in a bed? Oh, that's him. I was like, what's that stepping noise? Constantly at each other's throats like rabid dogs. God, I'm turning into her. Oh. <clears throat> I have not the patience for this. But if we must fight, let us at least be brief. Come. Am I Yashtola? Or am I he in? I... Okay. I guess I, I, guess I gotta lead. Okay. I gotta fight you, I guess. Damn. I gotta keep Pete alive, don't I? Down me. Oh, piss off. Oh, that hit me. Hold on, Ian. I got you. I got you. Oh my gosh, he would have died. We just are it. There we go. Okay.
Uh oh, what's about to happen now? What the? Okay, a time maneuver. That's great. There we go. Stola? Okay, you stole What I like to see, god dang girl, I see you. Of course I won, obviously. Come on, it's me. There's something wrong with these tribes. <laughs> it was a battle to burn soul and flesh to ash. We doth all will lend you our strength as promised. Nama's power is yours to wield. She sounds... Never mind, let me stop. Let's say she sounds very enthusiastic. Enthusiastic about that fight. I'll just put it like that. The sun is not driven by base motives such as yours. But I, they have been judged and found worthy. Nice. It is the way of the Oranir to accord recognition and respect to the strong. You have made sufficient proof of your strength. The sun shall answer your call. First, two birds, one stone, baby. Let's get it. You have our thanks. We are glad to call you allies. Perhaps a thumbnail there. You. By what are you called? Hmm? You stole her. Why? Hmm? Are you? My ear is itchy. Are you my Nama? See me? I beg your pardon? In battle, you shone with all the majesty of the full moon's light. Your healing touch, the embodiment of the Dusk Mother's love. Long had I wondered if my Nama might not be a woman of the steppe. Beholding you, I am all but certain. Now, look into my eyes. Could it be? Could you be? <laughs> I am. Not interested, little son. Try again when you've become a man. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, that's gotta hurt. And that's just made it worse. Little son, little son. <laughs> now that's just hurtful. That's just hurtful. <laughs> Does it pain you, little son? Crave you salve to soothe the ache, fire to sear the wound in your heart. That's just messed up. <laughs> Are they gonna kill each other? Oh god, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. We've wasted enough time here. Siren awaits for word of our success.
Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened either. But we should get out of here before we get uh, caught in the crossfire. I do believe that the little sun's about to turn into a bright burning star. Just hear a battle. Just hear like a fight break out as we walk away. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Interesting. Hold on. I want to see something. She said, try again when you become a man. That's funny. That's messed up, but it's funny. <clears throat> eh. She said what she said. What can you do? You are not only... You had not only to contend with Sadu, but Magni too? Or Magni? I forget what his name was. Such a fierce battle that may, must have been. Yet here you stand, triumphant. Having passed such a test, they could not very well deny your allegiance. The mole will make no such demands. Weak though we are, we will gladly stand with you. The steep is our home, and we will defend it with all our being. You have my heartfelt thanks. Of all the tribes of the steep, there is none I would rather have at my side. Okay, Ian. God's willing, many more will rally to our cause. I shall send you word when we have answers from all the tribes. I cannot thank you enough, Serena. None of this would have been possible without you. <laughs> the fuck was that? Endure. <clears throat> the call. Your shoulder would see the aether flow once more. We have quite. We have the requisite consent. It is time to put Nama's power to use. If the Aether flows as planned, all that remains is to have the Ironworks engineers do their work at the ruins. Come, let's return to the house of the Crooked Coin. It's not really a house. It's more of a place, for sure. Bing, bing. Whee, on the bird. Oh, God, it got dark. I should begin at once. You may wish to step back. What should I do? Attune to it? Did it work? It did. Ether may flow freely to the burn once more. I am aware it disconnected. I do not know why. Ugh, that was annoying. It just always does that. It's weird. I do not pretend to understand what you did, Yastola, but you did it. Thanks to you and Yazaru, of course, we have taken a momentous step towards securing our defenses. Now, as much as I believe a rest is in order, we should, pro we should probably make haste back to the Enclave. Agreed. The others may already have returned from their missions, and I would know how things stand. 
As would I. Without further ado, then. Uh, you know what? No. That's... That's... For such a small scene, too, no less. In a sense. It's like, why? I guess that type of blip, right when you don't need it to happen. Hold on, I will remedy that if I can. It's the half pass, all right? Yeah. Just showcase that off. Ooh, this lovely outfit, whatever you are. Ayoto's cloak? What's it like in black? Yeah, it looks spectacular in black. Wow, that is nice. Anyway. <laughs> hey, Golds. How's you doing? How's you doing? How's you doing? How's you doing? Let me see. Post storm bus. Here we go. Play cutscene four again. Hi, Golda. How you? Oh, it's not gonna show it. Are you serious? Oh wait, it's gotta be the call. I'm dumb. I'm dumb, 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 dumb. I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm doing good. Can't complain, at least. I could complain, but what's the point? That sounded morbid, but eh. <laughs> Not really morbid, but no. I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great. I'm alright. Judging by your triumphant expressions, I take it all went well on the Asm Steep. Indeed, we have secured a suitable source of energy for the barrier. Good. Tatar and I have commissioned Garland Ironworks to ensure that the field generators function as they should. A team of engineers stand ready to set out for the burn at a moment's notice. You need only say the word. I thank you for engaging the services on our behalf. The menu, the minute of the arrangement, you may leave to me. Oh, the minute. Minute. There we go. I got the word right eventually. Hush. Don't say anything. Which just leaves a small matter of our alliance. So, you could be in Hakuro. How fared you with our neighbors? My lord, all the factions we approach are in agreement the Empire poses a threat, and many responded positively to the talk of an alliance. From Aganshi and Suino Sato, however, we received outright rejections. Okay, well, they're gonna regret that in the future. The former will not break its treaty with the Empire, and the latter will not move, involve itself in conflict. Okay, so one's a pacifist and one wants to be traitors. That's fine, we'll kill them all. <laughs> Just as we expected, then. Well, there's nothing to be done about it. We must focus on the rest. To each of the nations that were amenable to our alliance, I will personally send a missive. And once I have attended to that, I believe we will have done everything we can to fortify Doma's offenses. For the time being, at least, all of which means I may leave for the meeting in Alamigo. With a lighter heart, Yigiri, Hakuro, if you will be so kind as to hold the fort in my absence. Hmm. How you doing, Golds? My friends, we could not have achieved so much in so little time without your help. For that, I give you my heartfelt thanks. Till the meeting, then. I take the liberty of asking Thanker to attend as well. He should have arrived in Alamegan Quarter by now. Then let's not keep him waiting, shall we? Wait till he hears you got hit on, your stroller. And proposed to, I think, if that's how they work. I'm pretty sure that's how they work. What the fuck is this? What are you staring at? What do you do here?
Okay, I'm just gonna leave you be. I don't I don't know what you're you're just okay. You're having your own moment, I can tell. You're okay feeling kinda of mad at the moment? Hey. I understand that. Sometimes you gotta feel a little bit mean, and then later feel a little bit bland. If that makes sense, I doubt it does, but you get what I'm saying. I think, I hope. Oh, your stroller has told me all, and I duly told Arian J and Kral. Kral in particular was concerned about Alphano, but I assured her that everything that can be done is being done. She agreed to continue with her own task for the moment, for the time being, on the condition that I contact her the moment there is any development. So, there are at least four of us to attend the council. Our involved is here to assist with security. Incidentally, though the poor lad seems altogether too destructive for the task. Another one missing Alpha Note, I expect. Ah, but it's almost time. As soon as you are ready, present yourself to the guards at the palace entrance. I shan't be far behind. Why do I feel like it's going to be some bull happening? Ah, the signs of the seventh dawn. Welcome to Alamigo. The Alliance leaders have already arrived. May I show you the meeting chamber? Several cutscenes will play in sequence. It's recommended to yes. Do it. What am I doing now in the game? Uh peace talks. Oh well, I guess I guess I say like mechanically. Pleasure to formally welcome uh, the state of Alamigo to the Aeorzean Alliance. It's not telling me. Shit. Uh hold on. No, nope, there's a cutscene going on about that. Still playing through the uh, post saga of the third ex third expansion? No, second expansion. I forget the numbers. But just doing the post content of the second expansion. Story wise, I think I'm securing alliances for another invasion. Lord Hien of Dorma, at your service. Pray, accept my heartfelt thanks for your generous invitation. But we're really just doing the post story content for this expansion. We who must thank you for journeying so far. And would be remiss of me not to acknowledge the part the science of the seventh dawn have played in bringing all of us together. Did this actor change? Or did his voice change? Great unrest. You and yours have been our constant companions, without whom we would not be here. You're damn right you wouldn't. Thank me, baby. Apologies to Lord Hien and Mistress Anzei. <laughs> It occurs to me that we have not gathered in this way since that fateful day in Uldar. You probably shouldn't talk about that day. I lost my arm and my freedom. As I lay in my cell, never did I dream that I would one day be given the chance to represent my homeland at this council. I would not even be alive had you not plucked me from the jaws of death. You, Yugiri. And Alfino. Would that the lad could be with us. Yes, right. You agree with us that day for that mission. Interesting. I too owe my presence here to Alfino. In so many ways. Until such time as he returns, I mean to carry on his good work as best I can. He will return. We will save him, Alfie. Ali. We'll save Alfie and bring him back to Al Al yes. Friend. Let us leave the past. <laughs> And turn our eyes to the future. My Lord Hian, pray tell us how things stand in the East. And he described how things stand in the East. <laughs> Having heard the rumors of dissent in Garlemald, I dared to dream of a peaceable solution. There's never going to be peace unless we kill them all. The Empire will not so easily change its ways. We got to kill them all. It's got to be done. Have a mind to take back Doma and Alamigo. We'll be hard pressed to stop them, even with the might of six nations. But while we lack the strength to fight the tide, a course may yet present itself if we read the winds aright. The winds suggest but one course to me. One which leads from the sea unto the river and thence to the source of all our woes. 
Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I say, what the hell does that even mean? All here have felt their blighted touch. It was the bringers of chaos who nurtured the Archbishop's tyrannical ambitions. They who bestowed upon him the secrets of summoning, as they have so many others before and since. And while they remain, we shall know no peace. Hmm. Our objective is clear. The question is how to achieve it. That our enemy parades about in Xenos's skin poses problems in itself, but ere we get to them, how are we to infiltrate the Empire and get close enough to strike? While I see the wisdom in targeting the Assians, an assassination attempt on Garlean soil would do little to aid our cause, even were it to succeed. It's time we used our enemy's preferred tactic, subterfuge. Oh, 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 oh summoning? <laughs> you have an idea? Speak your mind, Master Thancred. None here know the enemy better than the Scions, and you may have best of all. Whatever it is you propose, we will give it fair hearing. On that, you have my word. Very well, Admiral. My proposal is thus. We dispatch the Shinobi to Imperial territory. Mm -hmm. There, they sow the rumor that the Crown Prince perished in the Battle for Alamigo, and that the man parading around is in fact a corpse inhabited by a servant of darkness. Hmm. Rumors. Rumors can be the death of a nation. The ring of truth about it. And were the Gallians to learn that their future ruler is a puppet, the Empire would be shaken to the core. But at the risk of sounding stupid, would they actually believe such an unlikely story? I didn't. Hmm. Ordinarily not. But prior to his miraculous recovery, Rumors of Xenos' death had already begun to circulate around the Empire. Ultimately, however, what the masses believe is not our chief concern. Our true objective is to create an opening for rival factions within Garlemald to exploit. Mm. Just as a war of succession erupted in the wake of Empress Solus's death. A war which raged until but recently. Plunging the Imperial House into disarray as nephew and uncle grappled for the throne. It is no coincidence that one of Varus's first acts as Emperor was to name Xenos heir apparent, family feuds being so tiresome when armies are involved. Not all welcomed his choice of successor, however. There is no shortage of individuals who aspire to the throne, who would jump at any chance to seize power. The news that Xenos is not only dead, but a puppet to diabolical forces, would be too enticing to ignore. The Empire would not be quick to recover from a second war of succession. Indeed. A, a good distraction. ...stranger to infiltrating Imperial territory. With a team of operatives gathered from among the Alliance's finest, the plan should have a reasonable chance of success. Dorma already has Shinobi in place throughout the provinces. We stand ready to act, and act we must. What say you all? I'm for Master Thankry's proposal. We shine a light upon the Assian and test the Empire's unity. <laughs> it was his plot that scuttled Doma's negotiations, was it not? Why then, if we can eliminate him, there may yet be a chance for peace. What is it? Let us wage this war of subterfuge that we may one day lay down our arms. Gods know we never will while the Assians remain. <laughs> oh, 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 God. Ah, ah, God, what the? Sora. Oh, cutscene.
They did say several cutscenes will begin to play. History has been changed. Hmm? Oh, they There's a voice. Spies in our midst. Nay, I sense no such presence. Let expanse contract. Eon become instant. Through wide the gates that we may pass. Like the case that we make. What voice? Whose voice was that? Do I recognize that voice? Is it over? Oh, thank us down. Oh my gosh, what just happened? Twelve for Fend. He better not be dead. No. To a private chamber, have every healer make ready. Is he okay? Swiftly. We what just happened? Master Thancred remains in slumber. Though his vital signs appear stable, he's unresponsive. Okay, he might be in a coma. That's okay. That's that's somewhat doable. Oh, uh, what the fuck? I'm afraid we could not identify the cause, my lady. Our examinations revealed no wounds, nor the presence of any poisonous substances. Probably not. Oh, that only makes it worse. You're to let us know the moment there's any change, all right? Thank you for coming. Knowing Thancred. He would apologize for being otherwise engaged at so quickly. Oh, uh, how's Alizé doing? That's Stancred and Alpha. No, she just lost. Well, potentially lost. In gifting us a course of action, Stancred sowed the seed of all that is to follow. We have but to nurture it as best we can. To him, I would say, rest easy. That he may wake to enjoy the fruits of our labors. If he even wakes at all. No, don't think like that. Don't think like that. Don't think like that. Of the mysterious voice must not be forgotten. Will you tell me exactly what happened? I don't even know. Alize and I heard a voice in the moments before Thancred collapsed. It was accompanied by a severe headache, as if something were clutching at our minds. Did you experience the same thing? The very same, yes. So, in between the voice and the pain, you felt as if you were somewhere else entirely. Your testimony confirms my suspicion. That which you experienced was, I believe, your soul being plucked from your flesh. Called. What? Like a... Like a projection? I myself examined Thancred. Reach out as I may. I could not sense in him the spark of life that is his soul. Okay. That Thancred alone was stricken so is likely due to his heightened sensitivity to the effects of ether. A consequence of his prior possession by the Asian the Hebrea. The owner of the voice, whoever it may be, reached out to you, called your souls, and in so doing, caused you and yours such pain. But 
If that's true, where exactly are we being called to? I know not. Yet one thing is plain. Whoever waits for you on the other side is possessed of a power unlike any I have ever known. Forgive us, Lise, but may we leave Thancred in your care for a time? As if you had to ask. I may not be hmm. a friend anymore, but I'm no less a friend. Don't worry. I'll see to it that Thancred's well looked after. Just focus on solving this mystery, all right? Thank you, Lise. As the Elder Seedseer says, tis no ordinary individual we are dealing with. Nor can we discount the possibility of Asian involvement. Whoever or whatever is behind this, the sooner we find out, the better. Indeed, because what? So his soul's not in his body, he's... They reached out to us four specifically, though, didn't they? No, because did they, did they touch Lise? I don't know if they touched Lise. It hit me, Thancred. I think it did hit Lee. So all the Scions. What the heck happened? <clears throat> okay. I just tried to call Iridion Jin the Link Prayer. He didn't respond. But I did hope that he possesses some knowledge we do not. Oh, what if he got touched too? Ah, Iridion Jin. Something happened during the meeting. Thancred's, Thancred's collapsed. A disembodied voice suddenly started. What? But that's... We should talk about this in person. All right. We'll meet you there. That was Irion J. He heard the voice too. Mm-hmm. And Thanalan. Hmm. As we alone were afflicted at the meeting, I had my suspicions. But if the voice also spoke to Irion J, there can be little doubt. The scions were targeted specifically, okay? By whom and to what end is the question? One which one to which we must find an answer with all possible haste. I wonder if Alphano got hit. The emotes endure. Where's E? Prelude and oh yeah, let me see something real quick. No, oh, damn it. Eighty-five percent. Oh, look at that. And dang it, eight I on uh Huh. Interesting. Okay. Prelude and Violet. Alice is eager to run if you would honor Erdion J. Erdion J agreed to meet at the Rising Stones. If any of the others heard the voice, we'll find out soon enough. Ugh, my butt. Good luck. I should get back to the meeting with the Elder Seeds here. But if there's anything I can do, anything at all, you must let me know, alright? Promise me. <laughs> no doubt, uh, at least. Damn, that hiccup. Right, right. Let's be on our way. Oh, fast travel without me having to fast travel. Let's go. Or maybe not. Oh, no, yes. Uri! Give him a hug. It's good to see you. Give him a hug. You know you want, Ali. Come on. Would that our meeting were under happier circumstances. I judged the voice sufficient cause for concern even before you sent word of its effect on our comrade. You heard it too, then? And all but certainly at the self-same instant. Alas, pained as I was, I, I could make little sense of what few words did then reach mine ears. Can't make a dump. TMI, I know, but I do gotta take one. <laughs> Who do you think is responsible? Could this be the Asians doing? That I cannot say. Not when so little is known. Ere I indulge in speculation, I would examine Thancred with mine own eyes. 
to Alamigo then, without further delay. We just left there. One other thing. During my visit to the Far East, I observed a strange phenomenon. Thou referrest, I presume, to the localized reduction in etheric density. Oh, you already know that. Why do you already know that? What the hell? Well, that spares me the trouble of an explanation. Yes. I know to precisely that at two apparently unconnected locations. <clears throat> I take it the phenomenon is not limited to the Far East. Indeed not. Of late, our agents charged with surveilling the beast tribes have spoken of little else. In every corner of the realm, they tell of places in which the ether hath grown thin. Hmm. Naturally, my suspicions first turned to primal activity, but the areas thus affected betray no evidence of summoning. That's worse. I must confess to being quite perplexed. Yes, because the world should be naturally full of aether, I would think. If but why? It's being observed in multiple locations on opposite sides of the world, we may safely discount regional factors. Needless to say, this warrants further investigation. Indeed. Indeed. I shall make it my task to. Again? The voice. It calleth to me once more. Oh, come on. I, I hear it too. Oh, there's us two as well. Only you. Uh, no! Ishtola! The real Jay! Throw wide the gate. Do I recognize that voice? No, no, this can't be happening. What? Oh, they're both gone. Yishtola, Marie open your eyes. Open your eyes, I beg you. Say something, anything. Not again, please, not again. Yeah, that's that's just taking a toll now, isn't it? Holy crap! That's like so many scions gone. Or down for the count, at least. Before we continue, I grievously have to take a wide... I have to let a child loose. Um, so until then, be right back, screen. But holy crap. Uh, be right back. Bathroom break. Take a potty. Yeah. And we're back. Sorry about that. I had to drop off a school bus. <laughs> that, that, that's definitely TMI. I don't care. I had to use the bathroom. That's what that was. Anywho. So that blue light. Oh, that's what that is. Like, because that blue light. Oh. Back to this. That was crazy. We just lost two people. Forgive me. That was an unseemly display. No, it's perfectly valid. It happened before your very eyes, milady. None here would have behaved any differently. We have borne the two of them to a private chamber. But tell me, is it true that Master Thancred languishes in a state, in a like state in El Amigo? I'm afraid so. Though given the circumstances, it would seem best to observe them together. I will send word to Lee that he should be brought here. Take heart, my lady. The world is full of scholars and knowledgeable folk of every persuasion. Someone out there is bound to know what ails our comrades and how it may be cured. Thus we will rouse them, no matter what. I hope so. That we will, Hori. That we will. But first things first, 
Our comments without questions. May I ask that you explain the situation to him? I must attend to a private matter. Oh, I promised I'd visit someone in Limsa Lomenta. He's been waiting at Maelstrom Command for a while now. You know, you should come along too. I think he'd be glad to see you. He was he. What is he? What could he be? Time to find out who this he is. All these people when he got shit to do. Get a job. No. <laughs> oh, good. Where am I going? The Ab Castle? Because that's the closest thing. Mm, I still gotta do my tank stuff. As you probably guessed, it is Gabu we've come to see. The private here will bring him to us. Ever since the mansion took him in, I've tried to visit as often as I can. And after what befell our friends, I was taken by the urge to visit again. It's difficult to explain. Gabu. Oh, this kid. Here he is, my lady. Gabu, it's been too long. I'm afraid there's been no change. If he can see or hear us, he has given no sign. Oh, the child that got possessed by heightened influence. He's still fighting. I'm proud of you. We promised that we would come and visit you together, didn't we? Alphano and I. I'm sorry that we haven't managed that yet. You know, with the three of us like this, does it not remind you of that night? Of the stars beyond count twinkling in the heavens. I was feeling pretty low back then. Powerless. But I knew that my brother was close by if I needed him, and that the others would be waiting for me back at the Rising Stones. Not like now. He's down in the dumps. I've seen my share of trouble since coming to Eorzea. Been reminded again and again of my limitations. Of how little I can change about this world. And I've come to know the sorrow of parting all too well. But to have the people I hold dear struck down before my eyes. And be powerless to help them. Oh, Ellie. That I cannot bear. You don't have to bear this alone. No, I don't. You're right. It's pure arrogance to imagine I can solve everything by myself. You'd think I'd have learned that by now. Thank you. I don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> well, that's more than enough brooding for one day. Yeah. Pick yourself up. We have friends to save. Indeed.
Let's return to the Rising Stones and take it from there. Thanks again for agreeing to come. It meant a lot to me. No problem, Ellie. No problem. Where the fuck am I going? Mordona. Boy, howdy, are we in a pickle? <laughs> the hell are you? I don't care. New faces all the time. I did some thinking on the way back, and I think Hori is right. We need to seek outside help. Ordinarily, we would turn to our own experts on such matters, but they're both among the stricken. I will begin by reaching out to the myriad guilds and research inst institutions here in Eorzea. Additionally, Grandfather and Minfili had a wealth of connections between them. And I mean to explore those avenues too. We'll find a way to save everyone. Mark my words. Much and more has happened in recent days. Some of it for the good, some not so. But all around me, people continue their fight. From the shinobi who search for Alpha Note to the Alliance members who make ready to move against the Empire, they march on in the face of great adversity, bearing, very, bearing heavy burdens. Everyone is playing their part, and so must I. And you have your own part to play, I know. And it's bigger than most. So I won't keep you. Just promise that you'll visit from time to time, and I promise I'll have good tidings to share with you when you do. Of course. Oh, cutscene. Meanwhile, in the Imperial Palace. Uh oh, what's going on in Doma? I mean, uh, Garlemald. <laughs> Dark Vader in Emperor City is playing in the darkness now. The Populares no longer present an obstacle. Now is the time to bring the Empire's might to bear. A word from your radiance is all it takes. But one word, and the Imperial Army will fall upon Alamigo as a pack of bloodthirsty wolves and tear that feeble nation apart. Despite the lengths I go to, an emissary playing the part of a fool. Mm -hmm. When first I took this face, I swore to use all of my knowledge, all of my power, to further the cause of the Empire. My deeds stand testament to my commitment. So it is an ass in his body. Okay. This adamant flesh at my disposal. I could destroy the Icon Slayer as easily as one might swat a fly. Why do you hesitate? <sighs> Our enemy is resourceful. Though victory is certain now, it will not remain so indefinitely. Deliberate if you must, but be quick about it. We'll speak again when you have unburdened yourself of doubt. Until then, I take my leave. Father. I like those two guards he has. I should be the one to sigh. Who the hell? I played my part to perfection. I had earned my rest, and then, thanks to La Habrea's crowning act of idiocy, our favorite emissary sees fit to summon me back. What the heck is going on? 
Elidipus was ever a warrior, a most tiresome trait, would you not agree? What? Have you no words for me either? No matter. I've long grown weary of this mummery. Who is this? Now, my dearest grandson, let me remind you of your place in the simplest of terms. You do not make judgments, you administer them. Swiftly and to the letter. Naught else is your concern. Elidibus may be an insufferable bore, but he is no fool. His choices as emissary seldom err. If aught threatens the balance twixt light and dark, it falls to you to remove it. Be it by your own hands or by your armies, you have ample means at your disposal. What is this? That is why this empire exists, why I built it. Solar Cell Galvis? Oh dear. Have I Solar Souls. You always were an easy one to read. I don't like his face. I pity you, I do. As they say, ignorance is bliss. And I know how much happier you would be not knowing the things you know. The Founding Father was an Asian, and he created the Empire solely for the purpose of sowing the seeds of chaos. Wait, what? Don't take it personally. I merely do my duty. Bring about a calamity requires no small amount of power, and there is no surer way to obtain such power than by collecting powerful pawns. So the Empire was. I have labored long and hard, and I must say I am quite pleased with my handiwork. Paltry, though it seems, in comparison to Alec. Okay. You fiends are overfund of your own voices. Oh, that's what he sounds like. of his own destiny. Did he just introduce a character to die? <sighs> Such a waste of time and energy. Both yours and mine. Lest you forget you are emperor now. If you wish to spout drivel about man's destiny, save it for the masses. It will serve to give them a sense of purpose and you pliant pieces for the game. Oh, do stop sulking, boy. You of all people should understand. Ours is a struggle to restore both mankind and the world to their rightful state. Viewed thus, our goals are one and the same.
for the Empire was created by an Asian, is what I got from that. Meanwhile, at a resistance encampment somewhere in the Empire. A resistance encampment in the Empire? Interesting. Where's the other friend at? What's in the world? Whoa. Dead. All dead. Yet I see no wounds, nor any evidence of battle. Damn them. They finally used it. The Empire developed an alchemical weapon in Garabania, a gas, Black Rose, it was called, and to breathe it is to breathe your loss. Okay. And that did this? I thought the project abandoned and this vile fruit destroyed, but not else could have wrought such atrocity. Fools, what do they hope to gain with this butchery? Can they not see that a rule, one through terror, will not endure? How many more promises must they lose? Nay, wait. This is not the work of men, but monsters. The Asians. It cannot be a coincidence that their trail led us here. Their objective was never to rule. But there's so strife and discord. Such a crime does indeed bear the mark of the bringers of chaos. Black Rose cannot be allowed to kill again. We must find the Asians and put an end to their plot. Excuse me. Whoever on these keys? And people mentioning it first, a prelude in violence. Okay. Nix. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a minute. I'm confused. No, dang it. Did I get a new game plus? No, okay. I didn't get credits yet, so that's why. <clears throat> Soul searching. Ella says that I would send. Wait, what time is it? How much? How long have I been going for? Hmm, star 17. Let me do one more and then we'll switch it to seven. I'm glad you've come, though I'm afraid there's little in the way of good news. Hmm. After you left. We reached out to both the Alchemist's Guild and Spillglade Fane and attempted all manner of treatments. But the results were always the same. Whatever the answer is, it's not alchemy or conjuring. Why did it have to be Yishtola and Rianger and not me? Out of all of us, they are the ones who could feasibly have solved this puzzle. And Elvenu's still missing. God, it's a blind path. Where do we even start? A grave situation indeed. Might I be of some assistance? Cryo. Cryo? 
I did not think you well enough to travel. When word reached me of the plight of our friends, I could not well stay away. As a fellow scion, not to mention your erstwhile mentor, this is one of those times you should feel free to call on me, regardless of my personal circumstances. Yeah. I... yes, I should have thought of that. Thank you for coming, Kryon. We would welcome your insight. And I should be happy to provide it. Now, what's this I hear about Alphano heading into Imperial territory? That boy always did have some funny ideas. Do you remember the speech he gave when he was accepted to the studium? <laughs> My life's goal is not less than the salvation of this star. <laughs> He's laughing. That particular grand pronouncement has been a source of great embarrassment to him, as you know. But the fact of the matter is, he meant every word and has lived his life accordingly. Yes, he remains altruistic to a fault, but I'm worried he was too fixated on his goals to see the dangers, as has happened before. Mm, well, you needn't be so concerned. Though his values remain the same, Alphano is not the blinkered boy he once was. Slowly but surely, his eyes have been opened, thanks to a certain someone. Ah, oh, stop it! A certain someone whom he'd be mortified to learn had heard about his little speech. Mum's the word, eh? Oh, I'm gonna dog him the first chance I get. <laughs> right, I'd better have a look at our patients. They're in the infirmary, I assume. I'll need absolute quiet, so it would be best if I did this alone. If you'll excuse me. Water, baby. Mm. Gotta love it. Sorry. <laughs> oh, well. She has his book. Oh, my goodness. God damn. Sorry. Whoa. <laughs> well, I need to. Well, I just drink water too. You think that would have calmed my nerves? All three are in fine physical health. Don't judge me. <laughs> but in fact, they're dead. No. <laughs> sense the slightest trace of them in their bodies. It's as if their souls have taken leave of their physical forms. Ah, yes. The Elder Seed Seer made a similar observation. I've read the report. When you heard this mysterious voice, you described feeling as if you were somewhere else, yes? I was in a black void. I don't know what heck they were. I was in a black void. If we assume the ether which comprises your essence is being drawn to some other place, then it may be possible to follow the trail it leaves behind, just as we did in our search for Thancred. I wasn't around for that, but I can't imagine it was easy. Oh, it wasn't. But that's no reason not to try. I will have need of Master Matoya's crystal eye if I'm even to make the attempt. So, I suggest we pay her a visit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Oh my gosh. I hate this one because it's like I gotta go all the way to Idleshire, then leave it. That being said, I haven't been in a while. <laughs> I remember that story. Alexander over there. Yeah, Alexander was something, wasn't he?
Yeah, here we are. I heard Master Matoya was something of a recluse, but this seems extreme. Still, I'll happily overlook her eccentricities if she agrees to help us. Let's hope she does at least. Let's just show her she should help us. again have you i hide myself away in a cave and still you people insist on pestering me with your problems oh i mistook you for young what's his name but <laughs> you're the sister weren't you supposed to be the lively one i've seen happier faces at a rain sodden burial well, we've been through a lot, ladies. Cut us some well, slack. I'm sorry to dash your expectations, but the situation isn't exactly conducive to gaiety. <laughs> <laughs> That's more like it. Stoller used to spit and hiss like a wildcat, too. Better for a young thing like you to a wildcat. Fire and leave the doom and gloom to your elders. Now. What exactly does this tragic situation of yours have to do with me? If I may, Master Matoya, we have need of your crystal eye once more. And Stola is one of the afflicted, is she? Oh, now she want to get serious? Told you. She may be an ungrateful stray, but she's my ungrateful stray, and I'll not see her buried before I am. Right. Let us see what we can see. Time to get all mystical. And cast my senses out from there. What is it? Did you find them? That's not a good face. But, but this, this, this doesn't make sense. But, but how is it even possible? How is what possible? Kryle, what did you see? The, th the threads, they just, they just ended. And, and no, I didn't lose track of them. I followed them as far as they went. It's as if, it's as if they were cut off. What do you mean? Could the ether have dissipated if it had? Oh, oh, gods! Their bodies are just husks. It's like the brood mother's daughter all over again. Brood mother's daughter. No, no, th this is different. The Kalyana girl was already dead, body and soul, when Lakshmi affected her resurrection. Aye, let's not jump to conclusions. If their physical forms yet breathe and show no signs of wasting, then it follows that their souls must still be intact somewhere. But where? 
That's the question, isn't it, girl? Death has not taken them to the ethereal sea, yet there are no tracks left for us to follow. We're no closer to an answer than when we started. But knowing their souls are still out there is progress of a sort. We just have to keep looking. Pray, excuse me a moment. Yes? I remember, but... What, to Alamigo? We're on our way. Uh-oh, what is this? What is this? That was Lise. Apparently, a group of Populares have defected to Alamigo, and Maxima, the envoy Alphano left with, is one of them. Hmm? I'm sorry. I realize we've barely begun here, but... Go, child, go! You've made up your mind, and life's too short for dithering. Do some digging in the meantime and see if there isn't some other method we could use to continue the search. Let's be off then. Oh, not again. The enchantment barely seems to take these days. I chalk it up to old age, but I'm not the dumb. It's that simple. Hmm. Yishtola and Uriange were sharing notes on the thinning of the ether. It seems to be happening all over. That's what I suspected. Does it now? And here I was, all set to lay my woes on that creaking mountain of refuse, clogging up the Peleac. I fear something has gone wrong. Still. There's naught to be gained from starting at shadows. You can only do what can be done, and that but one thing at a time. So that was the woman who tamed your stolen. I had, distinct, I had the distinct feeling of being grabbed by the scruff of the neck and having the nonsense shaking out of me. When I found out his back, I'd like to visit again and ask her what tale she has of grandfather. You know what? Good cliffhanger, that. Good cliffhanger, that. So you know what? That is going to be where we stop Final Fantasy 14 for the evening. <laughs>